Finally, we had Kanda, the powerful sorceress, on our side. She was your best weapon to help you combat the threat of Blade and his army of zombies. And thanks to her, we soon found out that there was a much larger force that controlled everything, a powerful spirit. We followed the source of that spirit, which led us to being lost on a river of a huge tropical forest. After a skirmish with two hostile tribes, one of them welcomed us and made Long John their king. Silver did not find the riches of the mythical El Dorado, but we did find the source we were looking for, and Kanda revealed to me that I was a medicine man, destined to meet the spirit who was behind everything. So we had peace, but only for a moment, until Blade was back on our trail and chasing us, relentlessly. That's when we reached the waterfall. It was there we lost Kanda, and fell into the void. A witch! You hit the witch, you fool! We needed that woman! You've managed to completely ruin my plan! Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Mama! 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 Mama Kanda? No! Tell me she's still here! Tracy! Jim! Where is huh? she? Uh, uh, I watched as she got shot, and she fell. Uh, she fell! She was shot? But where? By who? There! It was Shadow and a group of zombies! I'll take care of that murderer! I'll... Ah, the powder is soaked! Shadow isn't what's important! Give me some help! We have to find her! Jojo is right! Kanda must be around here! I don't see her. Out there, under the waterfall. Flint, you can fly over there. Find Kanda. Mama Kanda, where are you? Huh? No, Jojo, Good. just wait! Be ready to pull us back up. Crocodiles! There! Oh, my Uncle Neptune's beard! We didn't see them! The boys have to come back to the ship now! Jim! Crocodiles! Behind you! Up uh, and overboard! Up! Uh. Uh, Jojo! Uh. Stop! Uh, 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 turn around! Uh. Jojo! Great Neptune! Come back here, you knucklehead! Mama, no, go away. I have to find her. Jojo, crocodiles, we can't just stay here. Mm. No! Pull us in! Faster, man! Together! Easy! Easy! Ah, retreat! Ah. Don't move for a moment! In the name of sweet Uncle Neptune, boys, if you ever scare me like that again, I'll drown you myself with my own bare hands! Thank you, Long John. You can thank me later. Now, take us toward the sea, quickly, before Shadow makes his way to us and Blade finds us alive. 
All right, then. Heading towards the sea. Tie those lines down. Now! Huh. Anchor alone won't hold this by itself. We must push against the current. We have to go upstream. Everybody grab one of the ropes and pull real hard. And you, make sure you retrieve our anchor. Move it. They will not escape me. Not again. No. You must fly to your master, understand? Go find Shadow. Find him. Fly! Push up back into it. Tie down the other rope. Now hurry up! That woman ceases to be. She's what? The sorceress you took from across the ocean is no more. She was shot down. And since she's gone, there's no need for you to keep searching. Now you will get back to your mission. Well, if that's what you want, why don't you help us get out of here instead of just spitting your orders at us? We have to fight against the current. No! What are you doing? Get back down there! I order you! Silence! I'm in command now. Ah, oh, well. By all means, stop the water and let us get further back up the river. That should be easy for you. I don't try to stop the course of destiny. Onward. No! Stop this! You're completely mad! No demon! One day he'll pay for all of this. Mm. Man your possessions! We have to follow them! Mama, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> it looks like we're the only ones left who can be here for those kids, Ben. I've never had such a load like this on my shoulders in my entire life. Keep moving! Clear us a pathway! We have to be faster than the current! We finally found them! It's a tough time, Captain Hawking. Any idea where we should go now, Jim? Because a good crew that's been hit hard and broken hearts is just a sorry sight. Uh... Unfortunately, I think I've lost the crew. Huh? What's that over there? Wait a minute. That man on the shore is a zombie! But, huh? uh, possibly they could be planning an ambush. Then how did they... No! It looks like it's all by itself and you're gonna think this is crazy. Oh, say no more. Whatever it was you were about to say, I'm sure it's gonna sound crazy. I'm used to that. <laughs> ben, pull over. We have to go down to the shore. I'm also gonna need Jojo and Tracy. Go on the shore! Go on the shore! Up! Go to the shore? In the forest? To do what, though? Zombies. There's one there by itself. It's wandering around, lost in the forest, and we have to capture it. Do what? Ben Gunn, if you were still among us, would not like this, not one little bit. Of course Ben won't do that, and I won't do it either, because this isn't just one crazy zombie. There are hundreds of them all over the place. Actually, maybe Jim does have a good idea. Oh no, you're not gonna get yourself involved in this madness, are you? If we could bring a real live zombie into a port and show it to people, then we could sound the alarm. We would get to warn the whole world about the threat of them. And we'd be able to report Blade and that assassin. Jojo, the most important thing is that you don't try to seek revenge. You're... My son, love of my life, if great pain ever falls upon you, even if it feels as heavy as a mountain, swear to me that you will never surrender to hatred. Swear to me! Mama must have already known that all this was gonna happen, so I think... 
anything that you want me to do is the right thing to do. Jojo, you're like my brother. It was only a few days, but Kainda felt like my mother too. We'll do this for you. And me too. I feel like Tracy, see? I want to be so good for Mama Kainda and be your little sister too. So I want to go out and catch zombies with you. Lynn, we need someone trustworthy like you to look after the Albatross. Those two pirates there could get into all kinds of trouble. Huh? Oh yes, of course. Sometimes pirates like us will go looking for trouble. <laughs> and Ben Galafirali would like Lynn to help him sail the ship out to sea. Oh, uh, with you on board, I'd feel much safer. Well, if you're asking me to, Man your positions, gentlemen. We're about to make our way to shore. At your service, Miss Stanton. You know how to go through a jungle. Help us prepare some bags with the right amount of provisions we need to survive out there. Sure. That was the zombie I threw at the waterfall. And Silver is approaching the shore. Then it's decided. We'll check along the shore to the left of the river, but we're not really sure how far it will go. So while you're aboard waiting for us... We'll take the ship and hide ourselves away from Lord Blade. But where you can find us once you've captured the beast. I'm trusting you, Ben. Please try to keep an eye on... Hmm. Um, on the sails. They're looking too taut. And Lynn, please keep an eye on these two, okay? Don't be mad, my girl. Just think about how jealous they'll be when they hear about how much fun you'll have with us. Marching onward! Up! Up! And you have some fun too, Flinch, old devil. See if you can find a pretty lady parrot in this forest. Remember that you're a free pirate too. So it's just as I thought. They're planning to capture the zombie. They must not succeed. But how did they get past the waterfall? At least the parrot is excited to be here. Ow! These flies bite worse than the sting of a wasp! Come on, it's not going that badly. Do you see how these branches are broken, making a sort of a trail? That's the sign that a zombie's been here. Are you sure it wasn't an animal? The animals move along without leaving a trace behind. Leave one and any predator like a lion or a leopard would easily know where it could find you. I hope... There aren't any lions and leopards here in the Americas. Oh, no. Sorry, Trace. I was just thinking about my beloved Africa. But I seem to think there are jaguars here. Are you trying to find ways to make me worry? No. But that is the animal that's the closest thing to a lion or leopard here. I'm not making that up. Then what is it? Is it a big cat like those others? With a mane or spots on its fur? It's well illustrated in the Codex. It has spots, but not the same as the leopards. Trust me, if we see one, I'm sure you'll recognize it right away. Ah, dangerous! Ah! Ready? Throw them a length of rope. We have to pull them up. Oricon told me that the sorceress had been finished. Is it true? Yes. I'm afraid she was struck by a bullet before she fell down the waterfall. It was one of the zombies I had brought to help me follow the witch. It was an impulsive act of anger. Regrettable. Bah! A random mishap with one of the mindless beasts is not important. It's the loss of the witch that's worrying me. What do we do now? That one zombie is more important than you think. I had lost track of it. Silver and his crew saw it wandering around the forest and sent out a search party to capture it. They want to capture it? Of course. If they were to show it to the authorities, to the Spanish Viceroy or even French Governor, it would be a complete disaster. The Alliance of the Five Kingdoms would fall apart. And what's worse, I would be hunted down as, well, as a pirate I am. What would they do? They found out I wouldn't die if I was taken to the gallows. Perhaps they would tie a stone to my feet. And throw me overboard to the bottom of the ocean while I still live. That's the torment Horicon has doomed me to. That won't happen. I will go down into the forest with a group of zombies and stop those kids. Yes. With those brats in hand, Silver will surrender without a word just so he can save them. Then I will be just one step closer to my revenge. Yeah. Jojo? Jim? 
Are the branches in this forest supposed to move? Stay where you are, Tracy. Uh, that's actually a snake. Uh, How big is it? Uh, 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 get me uh, down! It's gonna squeeze me to death! Uh, stay right here. I only need one little moment. Uh, Jim, let go of Tracy and come over here and help me pull this. Huh? No! Jim, please don't leave me! Now we need to run! Let's go! Retreat! Retreat! Up! Hold on! Wait a minute! It's not chasing us! Huh? What makes you say that? Just take a look at its stomach, see? It's swollen! It's eaten recently. It's full. You're right. Then why did it attack? Did it want to see if it could scare us to death? Huh. Maybe it got angry because we came and disturbed its digestion. <sighs> or maybe it was wanting some dessert. <laughs> <laughs> but thank goodness that you're okay. Come on, let's recover our stuff and keep going. Then we have a plan. I'm bringing in silver. You take your group and head towards the sea. I'll see you at the end of the river. This is the path that we're going to follow. Spread out through the area. We'll cover more ground that way. They won't escape. The sky. You're not going to see it very much walking through this forest. Well now, we still seem to be on the path, but where is the zombie? We haven't found it. Jojo? I just need a moment. A moment for my mother. Yes, we have to hurry. The day won't last forever, and I don't want to risk finding ourselves lost in the forest at night. No, me either. This way. Thankfully, old Uncle Neptune gave us a bit of a breeze. Though I worry it means that Blade will somehow catch up to us. Long John, why do you always say Uncle Neptune? I don't know who that is. But you knew him? Well, an old sailor once taught me that he was the god of the sea to the ancient Romans. And I liked it. For me, he stands for the free spirit of the oceans. That's all, see? Okay, I don't understand. Is he real or not? And if he were with us, would say that it doesn't really matter if he's real or not. What matters is if he's real in your heart. Beautiful, Ben. You're crazy, but you're smart. I couldn't have said it better. So this Uncle Neptune fellow, is he supposed to be in the hearts of Tracy or the boys? Oh, yes. Uncle Neptune is with them. You can count on it. We need to drink and eat some fruit to keep our strength up. But how do we know which fruits are okay for us to eat? I saw all the pirates in Tortuga eat these, and they seem to be fine. And if we get hungry for more, we can look in Jim's book. Well, for now, this should be fine. Huh? Oh. Um, Jojo, just try huh? to stay quiet and still, okay? Huh? But we have to move. We have to be done by nightfall. Stand still. Leave it to me. Uh -huh. ah! Ah! That thing bit me! What kind of giant spider is that supposed to be? Could it have been poisonous? Let me see. There's a chapter on spiders, scorpions, and other kinds of beasts. Here it is. Maybe there is a remedy. Tell me that we can still save him, Jim. Phew. Nothing serious. The Codex says that the spider has a large bite, but it's no more dangerous than if you were to be stung by a wasp. Hmm. The really dangerous spiders are this kind here, you see? Notice the legs and how it will raise them in this funny-looking position. Oh, what a nightmare! Look at it, Jojo! It looks like it's saying I'm the one in charge. The Codex says it can even jump really high when it goes on the attack. A spider that can jump like that? <laughs> well, let's pick up our things and we'll get back to the search. Yes, let's get moving, because I'm finally understanding what Long John was saying earlier. This forest is really starting to make me miss being out on the ocean after all. 
why don't I take a minute to check inside this bag? We wouldn't want to carry surprising visitors with us. Hmm? Tracy, Jim, shh. Do you hear that? I don't hear it anymore. And the forest is completely quiet. In the wild, that's not a good sign. It means that there's great danger. Come on, let's go. Follow me, this way. <laughs> Keep going. You don't have time to go back and get it. Tree. Five of you try to climb it. The rest of you surround the area. If they jump to the ground, then capture them. Ouch! Even the ants aren't happy we're here. I think we might have woken up a whole nest. We have to be careful up here. Whether it's ants or zombies, mm -hmm. we're not going to be able to hold out in this tree for much longer. We need to use some of the vines and swing across to one of those other trees over there. Sorry, Jojo, but I didn't train at a circus. But you're a champ at swinging between the mast of the albatross, and the best part is that this tree doesn't move. <sighs> but those zombies might still be able to jump their way across. Then we'll just have to be faster than them. <sighs> <sighs> Get up, you weaklings! Get back up there on the double! The rest of you keep looking for them. They mustn't get away. Where to now? Are we even on the right path anymore? That's a very good question. I don't remember where we could have left the trail. But if we get lost, it's gonna be bad. Well, right path or wrong path, it looks like we don't have a choice right now. Retreat! Finally, the good old ocean. Back on salt water, just as we should be. But now we have to look for a place to hide. There! There's a marshy lagoon. We can go there. At the very least, we should be able to get a little fresh air. Don't get too close or we risk running aground. Just take this channel. Drop anchor here. Come help me prep the cannon. Don't you worry yourself, Miss Stanton. Just you wait and see. If Blade finds us, we'll have all the firearms ready. The open ocean. Never stop missing it. Reinforce the sails. We must take advantage of the wind while we still can. We need to get some wood for cover. Ben! I want to use all the twigs and branches we can find. <laughs> Keep watching. This is the final touch. There we are. Perfectly well hidden in the seed. <laughs> but where did they go? They wouldn't have left for the sea without their companions. There they go. Now we just have to hope that they don't see us. But, uh, Tracy and the boys. Will they still find us? I certainly hope so, Lynn. First, they have to make it through that mess of a forest. In Africa, there's no jungle animal that would ever make a noise like that. But that can't be those zombies from earlier following us. It's coming from the other direction. What if we finally found the zombie we've been looking for? That's him. So what now? Huh? We came here to catch ourselves a zombie, didn't we? So now, we're catching one. The pirate.